So back in the crowd, we are so thrilling to be back where the love is true, but just needing to connect, you know, needing to connect. And after such a wild weekend of like, actually, I didn't do anything Saturday night, so tonight's my night to come out. And I was at Pig and Whiskey, warning people about the manure pollution hazards, and so I came to Akrauda to visit my buddy Timalaya, who's the last day in town, is, and now he's headed back to LA. And I just wanted to put up a badass art installation of health information, of just a little bit of everything, my outreaches to the general public about carcinogenic threat labeling, and the hazards of Cargill's toxic slaughterhouse discharges. This this info sheet goes over all of our like hashtags and pertinent pushes, and combine a little bit of the Omega Fats Action Network because the Omega Fats Action Network works on manure mitigation and restoring healthy land uses when we pass legislation to let hemp grow for supersedes for omega-3 sprouting rights. That is the dealio. And here's his act on fats. The major problem is that deficiency in omega-3s and fatty acid imbalances are linked to so many health disorders. So, fund omega-3 education and do it while we save our seeds legalized and understand the uses of hemp seeds for protein, and hemp seeds for the good salad dressing oil. So here we have like our general club cards and one of our coalition letters related to the mental health in conjunction with police reform, mental health checkups in conjunction with police reform, and how faith leaders can emphasize the importance of brain supportive nutritional wellness and fatty acid balance. Phantasmacacacol. What is up? And we're just a Discovering the like importance, but here we go again. What's with this police reform? Omega Fats action started in 2014 at the end of 2014 when a lot of the justice rights, a lot of the calls for justice were coming from the Black Lives Matter movement, and police reform was on the front burner. We I did not develop any protocols or any um, outreach just based on like how this can be a health component that's worth checking up on the officers to ensure they're not dealing with the cognitive impairments that come with this uh, common nutritional nutritional deficiency and imbalance scenario it is very pertinent we're not trying to be racialized just like Dude, like, people's health risks, if it's not good for the, the cops' brains, it'll be good for their hearts, okay? Heart health is a big issue with officers, and, it you know, just calling it brain food is just one of the cool things that it does go to work for our cell membranes. There's other things we can do to protect our brain cell membranes, you know, all, like, good fats is a big one of them. And our protein management crisis... Trans fats and hot dogs are some of the unlabeled hazards that, as activists for marijuana curing cancer and omega 3 education for brain supportive nutritional wellness, this is serious. Like, if we're gonna combat the health scourges related to the good fats, it's like trans fats are the worst. And here's a great way to promote understanding of the hemp seeds. There we go again, understanding of the hemp seeds. Now, we have to ban, ban the toxic threat glyphosate because manure runoff mitigation is a ban on Roundup. Not only is Roundup hurting the birds and the bees and the butterflies and the... Oh, man, it's also leaching, <laughs> leaching phosphorus from the soil and making it become dissolved phosphorus which is the nutrient load that fuels our toxic algae blooms. How just travesty this is. We've been spraying Roundup since the 70s. There's enough of it in the environment. It's a big reason to support Meat Free Monday because the fat-soluble pollutants Roundup is definitely one of them that's, that's accumulating. But there's also other carcinogenic uh, threats, just particularly dioxin is one to think about. It's a fat-soluble pollutant. And... Um, Whatever's happening with the hot dogs and processed meats, the World Health Organization warned. And we've just been concerned about how much water waste is going to Cargill's discharges. 
This is Jeremy, y'all, and I'm putting up these, this, these, um, dispatches to help just speed recovery to say, like, this is great that it's great. It's great that we know that I'm not proclaiming, like, I know healing is a miracle, and I know healing from hemp and marijuana is a miracle, just like it's healing from anything is a miracle, okay? And we're there very thankful for it. But we want protection and more health information regarding these eco-hazards, okay? There's environmental standpoints and health warning standpoints that has now become an unjust burden on the population that we're not warned we're not warned about the trans fats and their flipping likelihood of having flipping um, being grown with Roundup and flipping um, so overcome with omega-6. It's the worst for our heart health. And while the FDA is said that they will ban them in a couple years, in the meantime, there's no warnings. It's like, do we even trust the American people with health information? Well, I, for one, do. We're, like, taking to the streets, handing out omega-3s, wellness information, how to use hemp seeds for protein, what are some brain-supportive nutritional wellness ideas the community can get behind. Like a potluck. Omega-3 education in schools, psych wards, and in police reform. Use online presentations as educational service projects in places that do not have very much wellness programming. There's so many good ideas. When you zero in close, you realize, oh, it's already permeating. What well, Roundup is already permeating. We should not add any more to the environment. Is it that simple? Well, yeah, it is. The structure really is. Like, let's not be fucking like anybody stepping on anybody's toes. Like, I would be fucking concerned if it was anyone's fucking chemicals depleting the environment you know Monsanto happens to be like one of the worst offenders and like abusers of our agriculture system they're not feeding the world what Monsanto is doing is growing industrial garbage corn syrup vegetable oils and feed for animals okay if there is like some major health improvement going on in these other areas you know they would get credit for some of it and, and not just be like, oh, you're just trying to sell Roundup. But, like, at this point, like, Monsanto's so lame. It's like, are they just trying to sell Roundup? What is the deal? Why is this Roundup ready? Like, admit that you need bailed out. Just end it. End Roundup. Stop. Lowe's and Home Depot, stop. It will never be okay. We have to teach people something else to do because it's too poisonous and toxic to our environment right now. We have to live here. Please center yourself on that because it's true and we have to live here. And if we're not flipping cautious enough to look out for these things that are now scientifically shown to be like, we can do more to protect ourselves by taking these actions. Okay? That's what I need help with. Tweet ban glyphosate to the Pelotonia bike riders and we will courageously build an Ohio grassroots movement to um, really comprehensively. Um, address our serious um, resource and health problems. Mwah.